So along this road here, just under the flyover, we've got all these food stands, market stalls, selling all kinds of things. And this is right. And just down here, we've just come down here and just up there is Sukhumvit Road. And over that there is on Nut station. And here we've got a local community, the Ko Klang community, I think it's called, who've resided here. It's a hundred year old community here on the banks of the Trakanong Canal. There's canals all over the city of Bangkok. That's why Bangkok was used to be called the Venice of the East, transporting goods, trade, passengers, everything all over the city. And they're only we're gonna go and cross the cross over the dam in a minute, uh, the barrier over the canal, because this is a little island in the middle of the canal. And there's only 56 households uh, of this community, and they all serve as a model for other communities to join in the city's waste separation program. Because they all come out, uh, I've, I've seen a few of them the other day, come out, come out on, the, on the boats with nets and clear up all the rubbish out of the canal and anything and most of it is actually recyclable which they actually do use they recycle things make household items from it and sell them on so there's little uh, workshops storage areas i think that's been closed down anyway um this is on the banks of the river it's not on the island itself the island is over there which we'll go over in a sec Little tradesmen's here, um, delivery of beer, so we can get fresh water here, or well, you're used to. <coughs> Hello. Hello. See, on, on the island, uh, I think I read there's roughly 230 residents. That live on the island of Koh Klang. This is where they come, fish out all the rubbish, and we'll go over and have a look. <coughs> Swally cab? Okay. Where are you from? Uh, England. Oh, England, really cold, huh? Oh, now it is very cold now, yes. Um, you work here? Three. Uh, yeah, in England, it's snow. What? You work here? No, I'm just visiting, just looking, okay, okay. looking around, just having a walk yeah, around and look around. Yeah. Uh, is that okay? Nice to meet you. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Uh, gentlemen, interested to see what my plans are. They created their own little community, a school, yeah, Co Clang, Co Clang community. Swally Cab, hello. And up here we got. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I'll just uh, have a look around here and then just have a walk around. Yeah. Uh, okay, cop and cab. Yeah, here we've got a, a school, a, a learning centre for young children. And there we've got a laundrette. And then you take a walk around. Yeah. So this is the island we're on. So we just crossed over here. Um, We'll walk all the way around the island. But I've just turned right here and we'll see where this goes. It's a little side street around around here. So I'll have a little wander around. Some of the garden. Oh, they're all keeping it very nice and tidy. <coughs> Swally Cab! Hey. Hello, Swally Cab! Hello. Manchester United! Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Where do we go from here? Yeah, sort, of, sort of shrine here. People come here every day and place gifts and drinks and foods. And inevitably you get eaten by the birds or the cats who are here just lazing around. Hello boy. 
Where should I go? Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Look, what's that? Ew, that. Where shall I go then? It's all right. Let's go this. Let's go have a wander around here. See, they've all got their numbers on the doors. So I think they do receive mail here. See, they've got their own electricity. It's all metered. Cables, electric cables. Everywhere. It's all above ground because ground is all made of concrete not to tar make a wooden house this is all wood that they've collected probably out of the river over the donkey's years and other things this is tin so we made tin roofs and, uh, and got low supplies so made it more green so it looks more inviting <coughs> it's more inviting Whoa, 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 whoa. We have a lawn trip again. There's a pier, so if you want to pick up a canal boat, you go travelling down the canal. There's a stop here. What is that? Is that a, a prayer centre? Could be a prayer centre or a mosque. Buddhist centre. <coughs> There's not many, not many people about at the moment. So got these uh, nice handmade pots of a buffalo. And the young kids playing on the ground, on the back, while it's seen to the ground. But it's old uh, generator, is it? Is it a generator? Yeah, it looks like it. And here we have the local shop. It sells all sorts of little goodies for everyday use. So here, what do you... Things they collect out the river, look, all these bottles. See, they all come out, they all get collected here. And they sell them on. They get so much per kilo. I don't know how much they would get, but it won't be a lot, it won't be a lot of money. But to some, it's enough to scrape by each day. So that's a uh, very, uh, I like this area, it's very inviting isn't it? It's very good. Hello! There's many many of these communities all along the canal system throughout Bangkok and uh, they all have their different ways of life, how they get trade, so a lot of them sell and make all their things, certain workshops over there and they tend to the river and uh, make things. Yeah, so I'm on. So. Most of the time they just sit and relax here. There's a lady. Clean, clean. Good, good. Thank you. All these lovely plants she's been watering for a couple of hours. And there's a uh, notice board. Um, I don't know, it's all in Thai. I can't read it. So let's see, there's the old um, King of Thailand. So this is the Ko Klang community. So I'm going to take you to another totally different community now. Okay, I just got off at Klong Toy. I just stopped here for a bit of lunch. Yeah, well, it's a late lunch, it's about half past two in the afternoon. So the lady's going to cook me some lunch here. And there's a man repairing a football. You don't buy a new football here, you repair it. Look. Stitching it up, mixing, the, mending the punctures. Very good. Good. Oh. Oh, this is my lunch. Mix Vindis pork, red rice, basil, and chilies, and a fried egg on top. Lovely jubby. 50 baht. One pound 20. Cheapest chips. Had an awesome lunch there. Very, very nice. Nice and spicy. You filled a little hole. And uh, here, I'll turn you down, point you down to another community. We're at Klong Toy. Uh, the uh, BTS station is just, not the BTS, the MRT station is just down there. It's the main junction. This is the disused railway line. And um, we're going to have a walk along this disused railway line to find another thriving community. Let's see who we can meet.
right by the main road here and you'll be pleasantly surprised how very quiet it is down here they're all very self-sufficient this whole area is owned Swally Cap whole area is owned by the Port, Port Authority of Thailand and uh, during the 50s people come here looking for work and the regeneration of Bangkok in the 1970s uh, obviously because of the more expensive accommodation that was being built they allowed people to stay here indefinitely oh and look at this and here comes a train straight through the yard well I wasn't expecting this this is a novelty I wasn't expecting this at all this just dive into this shack here Train. Hello! I thought it was a disused railway line, but it's not. There is trains actually running through here. It's pretty awesome, this. Well, it's a long train anyway, isn't it? The child just told me the train comes through here twice a day. Ah, it's cool. Well, hello, Swally Cab, how are you? Okay, good, good. <coughs> Swally Cab. So they've got their own, uh, got their own drinking water here. Put ten bar in, you get one and a half liters of water. Which is good. How are you doing the green me, Swally Cab? Okay. Okay. No problem. Uh, lovely community here. Friendly people. And there's a self-service laundrette where you can do your laundry. Obviously. People say they're frightened to come down here because it's it's a slum and it's dangerous. Yeah. Well, I haven't found anything like that. Here's a local shop. Uh, it's sell all sorts of drinks and snacks and beers and uh, all sorts of stuff going on here. Swaddy cab, man mending a hi-fi system or a computer. Okay. All sorts of trades here. There's a local shrine. They put things out every morning. There's another local shop there. Another laundry. So everyone likes to keep themselves clean. They've all got the laundry hanging out the front. So the all two story buildings. All looking very good. <coughs> Swaddy cab. And uh, so you've got with motorbikes and big Yamaha there so people are working here and they work for other people but they can't afford the accommodation in Bangkok we're right in the center of Bangkok and uh Swadi Cab how are you okay good good okay your pussy cats yes I'll just come to have a look around the video huh? oh, okay. oh okay no pussy cats hello can you come and say hello? No? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ciao. <coughs> this one seems very friendly. Yeah, it's quite a good exploration day today. More shrines. So, a little alleyways. I want to go down one of these alleyways shortly and find out what 
happening in the adjacent streets. They're doing a lot of workshops. People all doing all sorts of trades. Another shop. People are eating, get the fresh fruit. Got all sorts of things here. It may be a slum, but they try to live respectively. See, there's not much litter here at all, really. They clean up after themselves. That's a quite modernised new house. So, oh, look. It's not that old, that one. <coughs> Sweaty cab. Sweaty cab. OK. okay. Good, good. Yeah. Plenty of shops here. They don't have to go into town to shop. Swally cab. Everything is provided for them here. A postal worker delivering post. Yep. So they've all got their numbers on the street on the railway tracks. So they try to make themselves look very respectable here. It's good. Very good sign. Plenty of cats around. And uh, as someone was telling me earlier, not a lot of people come down here. They don't get many visitors, visitors down here. So they're happy to see new people in the area. Ooh, some mosaics. Oh, very good. Definitely like a little village here. So we're so close to the road, and see how quiet it is. It's dead quiet. Obviously, the train comes through twice a day. They know when it's coming through. It travels slowly, beeps its horn when it's coming through, and put everything away and back out again. Swaddy cab. Sort of, uh, seem to be pleased to see uh, a friendly farang down here exploring their community see how they live uh, so there's no reason to be dirty or anything like that there's plenty of laundries here plenty of shops um, repair outlets food outlets sweaty cab there's a barber shop there look Get your hair hair cut. Look, for everything you need here. On the way back, look at me. Walking down the middle of the street. All I need is a train to come barging up behind me. But obviously you'll see the train before I do. Probably not a good move. I'm gonna walk through this little alleyway, see where this takes us. Let's see it to the other rail track that ran straight on. Sweaty cap. Oh, have a nice little shopping area here. Yeah. This is where they come to get all their shopping, things fixed. All sorts, more laundry, more food shops. Everything you ever want here. <laughs> More drinking water everywhere. The mailman delivering mail. Right. So that is two of the lesser known communities in the centre of Bangkok. Not a lot of people know about and they're easy to get to locals are very welcoming for strangers to come in and explore their surroundings because they think not everyone lives a life of Riley in Bangkok not everyone's got money there are slums like this in the centre of Bangkok right in the heart of it and uh, there's the signal box 
So I should do some more exploring over the next coming days and I've enjoyed this. Yeah. So until next time, I should say ciao for now and adios amigos. And same to the chicken as well. <laughs>